Hello everybody, this is Leobach and welcome to let and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. And this the last episode we've gotten to the deep into the deep wood mine shrine. In this episode, we're gonna go we're gonna hopefully get a, get a good way to do it. Um now here we have our first grab puzzle. We'll just press hold R and then push. You can also pull if you want to by pulling the opposite direction. So yeah, pretty much that's it. Dude, we have, uh, we have slugs here. Okay, now this room you see these little, um, open boxes I guess you'd say. They're torches. I always thought they looked like open boxes to me, but yeah. Um, okay, so... Apparently we have to do whatever puzzles in here. Oh, there we go. Push that down. You got these switches over here that you can step on and they'll light the, light the torches. I guess the treasure chest, and inside the treasure chest, unlike outdoors, most times you'll get a small key! Okay. Small keys are important because... Oh. Diesel is gonna tell us that anyway. Hmm, there's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to open it. Or not. Okay, you go up to the door, lock door, and press A, and if you have a key, you'll automatically use it. Okay. Now, here we have an interesting little. Oh, Diesel! You see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front and press R to grab, and then press down to pull. Yes. As Ezo said, R to grab, down to pull. Oh. And, yeah. Okay. Move. Link, move straight. Okay. Now, these little mushrooms are pretty interesting things, too. Um, you see, the further you pull them, the further you'll go. When you see Link turn red, that's about as far as you can go. You let go of the button. Let go of the spectrum pad. Don't let go of the button until after you go in the air. I think you'll just let go of it and that's not happen. If you do it that way. But either way, you let go of the directional pad you're aiming and you go flying. It's fun. Okay, now these guys. Okay, I don't think I can do anything with those guys. But as you can see, we move slower, slower in that silk stuff. I don't know about you, but that kind of creeps me out a little bit, the silk stuff. But as you can see, we can't defeat that enemy, so we'll just ignore him for now. He's low. Oh, look at the size of that barrel! Hmm. Alright, that's what I mean. It's not big, we're just small! Really? Light on fire and... Oh, like the torch on fire, and like the, uh, oh, it's on fire. Now, um, I believe we can do it. Can we? No. Okay, we can't do that yet. Um, oh, that's why. Okay, so there's a point in this, there's a point in this where we get to, uh, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Ah, Link. I guess jump off. Anyway, there's a point in this area where we'll have to move, move around the barrel to get to places. Anyway, um, yeah, that point is right now. Now what you just saw there was a, was a uh, pretty much a two-step puzzle. Now you a two-switch puzzle. Oh, shut up. Ah, hey, be careful, my man. The barrel just moved. Yes, I already said it. The barrel moved and the canal rolled. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you'll see it pretty much shift when you can get out. Wait, yeah. Um, that's about it for that. So we'll go out here and see what we can go from here. Um, can't put. That's, that block, typically if you can, can, if you 
The only thing with block, if you can't move it any other any direction, it's usually a one-way block. Okay, so we'll pull back. Let go of the button. Whee! We flew twice as far. Okay, now as you can see here, we have a pretty big treasure chest. And then we find a dungeon map. Yes, a dungeon map. So, press start and we access the dungeon menu. And it's on the same page as the map. And it just replaces it whenever you're in a dungeon. And with the dungeon map, normally what you'd only see is what would be the blue area, the area that you already explored. With the dungeon map, you get everything. Which is awesome. Um, so, um, let's see. I believe you only move up to this point and let go. Yeah, there we go. That happens. And that lets you get out through there because we can't swim in the water. Okay. What do you now? It's something to hold down the switch. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay, now. This object we should be able to just push. There we go. Um Yeah. You don't have to grab it or, or anything, you can just push and link stop trying to learn to swim. Now is not the good time to swim. Okay, now. Ezo, let me explain for once. Okay. Once you take hold of something with R. Use the directional pad to push or pull it. This is extremely important, so I hope you take pains to remember it. Um, yes, yeah, kind of what he says is true. It's not really that hard to get. Um, you can't, if you're grabbing an object, like say, say over here for example, you can move left or right, but you can't move up or down. On the other, on the opposite side, on the other end, you can move up or down, but not left or right. Um, yeah. What we actually need to do is uh, get inside. Like that. Grab it, and get it Open the door in the dungeon. Okay, so basically we're done with this room. Kind of a little creepy. I like that they do that. It kind of freaks you out a little bit. But, like, oh no, I, I'm stuck. That's, like, not really. <laughs> Still awesome. Anyway, um. I believe we keep moving this way. Uh, I think if we move this way, we should. There we go. We head up here. Oh, look, a locked door. Okay, so, right up here, let's go up here real quick. Okay, I don't want to not go up there yet. Let's, you know, let's go down here. Well, okay. And we let go of the, ah, we just to it. Okay, so instead of doing that, we're going to go back and go up to the edge of the drag line. Press this button. Yay! Okay, now we're gonna grab this, and this is the one we wanna go back as far as we can. Go! Yay! We made it to the other side! If anyone who's played a Zelda game, God admit, one of your favorite things to do is break these bases. Okay, so. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do now. 
Wow. I feel like I completed it now that I couldn't figure that out. Okay, so go this way. We're gonna have a first sub sub boss fight. Um not really much, just to hear me. Three heads kills them. And we get a smokey! Okay. Can we keep moving? Hmm. And we're back in this room. Well, oh, I think we'll head up this way. Um. And I think I'm gonna end, end the video off for now. So, in the next episode. We'll continue through Deepwood Trine, and hopefully get pretty far into it. I'll see you guys later.